Okay. Uh, if, if you're driving your car and you want to know the speed of your car and you don't have a speedometer, you have to think, how would I figure out how fast I'm going? What you would do is drive, uh, say, to LA and say that's 300 miles. And then what would you have to do with that 300 miles? Divide by the time. So rate is just distance over time. And now if you want to think distance, uh, also we can think of that as extent. If you think of it that way, so your car, in your car you're going like 55 miles an hour because you don't want to break the speed limit. Uh, the same thing happens in chemistry. We have a rate, which is not quite a distance, but an extent over time. Same sort of thing as, it's a type of velocity in chemistry. So for chemistry, we uh, define rate as change in concentration over change in time. <coughs> change in concentration over change in time. And here, you'll see I'll use delta for change. Uh, not like in the other parts of the class. Change in C for change in concentration over change in T, change in time. So that's how we measure rate, because con how concentration is changing, uh, usually in molarity, tells us the extent of the reaction change. So if we have reactants going to products, then the rate, now you have to think of rate, well, it's a change in concentration of the reactants over the change in time. But remember, I'm losing reactants. So I'll put minus to indicate loss. And I'm also changing product concentration over change in time. And remember, I'm gaining products. So I'll put a plus for that, positive. Uh, if you want to see that in more detail, you can write a more confusing reaction. Uh, as such, and you can write the same sort of rate. Rate equals minus for the reactants uh, A. Oh, and notice something that you didn't see in the other one. I'm putting 1 over the coefficient. I'll tell you why I'm doing that in just a second. I've got more to write here. Delta G, change in concentration of G, change of time, uh, equals uh, the last one, uh, e equals 1 over H, change in H. The reason I have to put that 1 over A, 1 over B, 1 over G, 1 over little h, is for the molar ratios to be correct. So to get the molar ratios right, I have to do that 1 over thing. So as just a little simple example, if I have the reaction, uh, and you can do this with any reaction, it doesn't matter. But let's say, oops, let's say I have this reaction, then my rate is equal to minus one half change in the concentration of the HI over change in time or positive, and it's positive 1 over 1, change of the concentration of H2 over the change in time, and positive 1 over 1, uh, change in concentration of I2 over the change in time. So just as a specific example, you can see how that would work there.